Hi, I'm Anderson. Are you looking to score higher on the ASVAB? Well, you come to the right place. <laughs> What's going on, my party people? I'm Anderson, your ASVAB coach, and yes, I'm in a very good mood. So with that said, let's go ahead and take care of this tough word problem here, tough, by breaking it down step by step, each piece of the story. That way you can understand how to really translate what we learn here into other problems. All right. And so remember on the ASVAB, it's not easy to have to wrap your head around all of these different topics, all these different keywords and possibilities. And you don't have to because you can have a coach that's going to have your back every step of the way, just like me. So outside of the free classes that I host every week, I actually have a full program that not many people know about. And this full program is going to give you access to everything that you need to support yourself all the way through until you get the score that you want. The way I do that, three main ways. One, you get to text me whenever you need help. If you're working on a practice question from my program or anywhere else, I don't care. Text me. I got you. Number two, you're going to get access to all of my live classes. And even if you can't make it, you get all of the recordings to make it really easy and convenient for you to get your study on whenever you need to. And number three, you need to practice. You need to build that confidence. You need to build that speed. And that's why I offer over 3,000 practice questions that you can go ahead and practice 24 seven on the website. It's all going to be included in your account along with study guides, flashcard sets, worksheets, everything that you can think of. So I've got your back on the AFQT, both math topics, both English topics. And if you want to learn more about that, go to that link right there, that link, go to it, go to it, go to it, or the one in the description of this video and watch the video at the top of the screen. That video is just going to explain exactly how the program works, how to sign up and how to get started on raising your score. But without further ado, you know what you're here for. You want to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and get to it. So let's see what we're looking at here. The question reads, how many pages was Norman assigned to read? Okay. So how many pages was he assigned to read? How many pages was Norman assigned to read? Okay. So, if I'm thinking about this in English, you know, I don't really see the math yet, but I do know that I'm looking for the number of pages that he was assigned. So remember, we have to allow the problem to develop. We have to allow ourselves to get into the problem here and figure out how things are related. Don't freak out if something doesn't make sense the very first time you read it. It's okay. So start with the question here. How many pages was Norman assigned to read? Sounds good. Let's go ahead now. Understand that that's what we're looking for. Norman was assigned, Norman was assigned, was a, was assigned blank pages. Sounds good. So let's go ahead and say, you know, P pages, whatever. I don't care, but let's go ahead and move forward here and then understand the context, the story, because we're going to build a little roadmap, a little treasure hunt to get to the answer. So here, Norman read 10% of his assigned reading on the first day over the next week, he read half of the remaining pages, leaving 144 pages left to read. How many pages was he assigned to read? Okay. So you're going to be thinking, and you might be saying, Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I see here that he read half and that leaves 144 left. So doesn't that mean coach that since we have 144 and that's half, you double it and you get 288 and you're done. No, because you see that Norman had already read 10% of it. So let's tell the story here. You have to be able to tell the story. Here's what that story is going to look like. So Norman read 10% on the first day. Okay. So that's what he initially does. So, okay. He reads 10% of all those pages first. Okay. Sounds good. Again, we're just telling the story here. He read 10% of all those pages right there from the very beginning. Then what does it say right here over the next week? He read half of not the total pages, but the remaining, this is the keyword of the remaining. That is your keyword. Half of the remaining pages leaving 144 after. So what does that mean? This is where things get juicy. Let me go ahead and create some room. So before I continue again, go to that link, watch the video at the top to see how the full program works. Cause I think you're going to be impressed with everything you get and the really low price. So let me go ahead and get rid of this right there. So I have all the space in the world here. So here we go. He read half of the remaining pages. Well, I don't know how many pages we have left, but I do know what percent I have left. Think about it. If you read 10% of the pages, 
Don't you have 90% left? Yeah, you got 90% left. 90% of the pages left. Okay, why is that important? Why is that important? Because remember, it says right here, Norman read half of the remaining pages. So if 90% is what's left, what's half of that? What's half of 90%? Right over here. Cut it in half, divide it by two, you get yourself 45%. So that means that Norman reads, again, half of what's left, that refers to 45%. So 45% of the pages, that translates to 144 pages. That translates to 144 pages. Because didn't we just say that right here? Again, he read 10%, so that means technically he had 90% left. And if he reads half of the remaining pages, that's half, so okay, 45%. So that means that the 45% is translating to 144 pages. Look at this, my party people. This is how it works. This is how you can look forward to problem solving by understanding the story. You were given the percent, see where that percent takes you. Because I can write this now as a solid equation and say, hey, 45% right here of all of the pages, so P, again, right there, equals 144. What do we do with this information here? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and solve this equation because 45% turns into 0 0.45. Of means multiply, P equals 144. What you have to do to get this problem done, my party people, divide both sides by 0 0.45 and you're done. And you are absolutely done. So now this part of the problem is where we're gonna look at this and say, okay, we need to know how to divide by this decimal 0.45. So if you've been to my classes before, you know that I've taught you this trick where when you're dividing by a decimal, you don't really need to divide by the decimal. You can actually go ahead and basically say, hey, uh, peace out, I'm gonna move you twice to the right. But if I'm gonna move that decimal twice to the right, I gotta do the same thing to the top and the bottom of the fraction. So I can move this one over here and over there. So I turn this problem into a much easier one because I have 14400 zero, zero, divided by 45 now. And so now what you have to do is you have to take care of the division of 45. Absolutely, absolutely. And so this is gonna be up to you. How am I gonna divide by 45? There's really two ways you can do this. One is gonna be straight up dividing by 45. Doing your long division, 45 goes into 14400. Sure, have fun, knock yourself out, right? Knock yourself out, or you can go ahead and say, hey, if I'm dividing by 45, that's the same exact thing as dividing by nine and dividing by five, right? Nine times five is 45. So I can break it down into two easier problems by going ahead and just doing it that way. I'll show you both ways before you end this video, I'm gonna show you both ways. That way you can see how one might be easier or quicker than the other way. So first over here, let's pay attention. 45 goes into 1, doesn't work. 14, doesn't work. 144, I know it goes in there because 45 is way less than 144, but do you know by how much? 45, 90, 135. Not many people know about that 135 there by heart. So this is why it might be more difficult for someone who doesn't understand or completely have confidence in their multiplication and division. But if you knew that, that would be 3. And what we would do is we would go ahead and subtract 135, giving you a nine. Then you bring that zero here. How many times does 45 goes into 90? Two times. So there we go, boom. And then we take away that 90, get ourselves that zero, bring that zero, and we have 320. 320 total pages. But before you leave, let me show you how this might prove to be easier. So let's go ahead and take nine first and go and divide it into a 100 and four or 14,400. So nine goes into 14 one time, minus nine, we get five, bring the four down, 54, that's six. Okay, this is much easier because I'm dealing with numbers that I know how to deal with. All right, I got 1600. The next thing you'll do immediately is divide that by five now. Again, divide by nine, 
divide by five, let's get to work. So here, five into 1600, five into 16, three times, five goes into 10, twice, zero, zero, 320. So you could probably get it done faster by doing two smaller divisions than one massive one. And so that's gonna be up to you to basically look at these problems and say, okay, I should be doing this in this problem. I shouldn't be doing that in this one. It's up to you. But once you hone your skills and develop your skills, you're gonna have the freedom and the creativity to get it done in the way that you understand it best. And as your ASVAB coach, that's the best situation that I could hope for. That you know how to do a problem in more than one way, and on top of that, you know which way is gonna be quicker when you're dealing with test time. That's the great thing about it. That's the basically, that's the antithesis. That's the opposite of test anxiety. Anxiety comes from, hey, being afraid of something that hasn't even happened yet, versus confidence being, if I see this, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. So, with that said, my party people, I am Anderson, your ASVAB coach, always will be, because you know I love teaching. But at the same time, remember, we have to make sure we're doing what we need to do to get the score we want and that job we deserve. And the best way to do that, as always, is gonna be with my ASVAB All Access program. So if you click the link in the description of this video, please do that, take a second, it takes five minutes. Go ahead and click that link, watch the video at the top, and then shoot me a text, there's my number right there, shoot me a text if you have any questions at all. If you have no questions and you like the way it sounds and you like the price, because I can tell you right now, I charge 80% less than everybody else. Don't know what that means? A lot less. And so go ahead and check it out, watch that video, sign up if you like it, and let me know once you're done signing up so I can go ahead and make sure that you have the easiest time possible getting started and really get you back to the basics of hoping and making sure that you're good to go. So as always, love y'all. Stay tuned for the next video on YouTube. You know I'm posting every single day. I'll see you my party people. Let's get cracking and let's ace the ass bad.